Good morning, guys. Uh, great to be with you these past eight days. Uh, looking forward to Scott finishing us up in the rest of the book of Acts. Uh, always love hearing Scott, Joey, and Brian do their grips, and it's just just fun to hear their take on, on those scriptures, man. If you aren't gripping the Word, man, get started. It is just an absolute great way to understand God's Word, and uh, He'll lead and guide you through it, man. My, my title today, Have I Fulfilled My Duty to God? Uh, we're in Acts 23, verses 1 and 2. This is my G, guys. Here we go. Paul looked straight at the Sanhedrin and said, My brothers, I have fulfilled my duty to God in all good conscience to this day. At this, the high priest Ananias ordered those standing near Paul to strike him on the mouth. Guys, I can tell you this. I never have been struck on the mouth for the Lord, man. So I got to put that on my list. Uh, my reveal today, guys. Uh, yesterday, I gave you a 10-point test. I hope you guys took it. If you haven't taken that test, go back to verse, chapter 22 and uh, look at verses 14 through 16 and uh, take that test and see where you are, guys. Today, Paul tells the Sanhedrin that he has fulfilled his duty to God in all good consciousness. So, guy, in my reveal today, I'm going to have a confession to you guys right here. I can do better than I'm doing. So I got to work on that. My implementation. Today, my implementation is a reflection of yesterday's quiz. I will do better in those items by letting God lead me. I will trust him completely. Get in his word every day and share his word with people I come in contact with. I need to share my story with all of them. And as I've said many, many times, I need to walk it out. And I need to walk it out better than I've been walking it out, guys. Let me pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this eight days I've had with the guys, man. I just uh, love doing these videos with them. Uh, I hope you help them out through me in some form or fashion. Lord, forgive me for not doing the things I need to do for you. Help me to get stronger, be better, and uh, just be on fire for taking care of the work that you expect me to do here on earth. Uh, just uh, lead and guide me, take care of me, Lord, and just thank you so much for my Savior, Jesus Christ. For it's in his name we pray. Amen. Okay, guys, more questions. Have you fulfilled your duty to God? If so, good. Keep it up. Uh, if not, it's never too late to start. Start today. Get in his word. Get in one of our groups and let the community help you out, guys. Uh, if we get in God's word every day, he'll be there for us. He'll, uh, he'll teach us things that we'll never believe. He'll help us say things that we would have never thought of. So get in God's word and let him help you with that. Guys, I have loved being with you these eight days, man. Uh, let us know if we can help you in any way. Uh, subscribe to the In His Grip channel, man, so that you can be getting these videos every day. And uh, I can't wait to see you guys next month. Let me pray us out. Heavenly Father, once again, thank you for all these guys that are looking in on this video. I love them all. And uh, just remind them, we got uh, in-person meetings, we got Zoom calls, and we got some people doing it through email. And just whatever works for them, tell them to get in this community. We need a community of men like we have to hold us accountable. And Lord, we want to be accountable to you. Just hold us accountable and, and, and lead and guide us in your will, not our will. Help us to walk it out in a way that pleases you, God. And just uh, thank you so much for your word and what we can learn from it. And just uh, thank you for our Savior, Jesus Christ. What's in his name we pray. Amen. Okay, guys, love you guys. Scott's coming up tomorrow, so listen in to him uh, the rest of the month so you can hear the rest of Acts. Uh, talk to you guys later. See you next month.